Why don't you mind your own business, Alistair? Stop trying to cause trouble between my wife and me. I am not causing any trouble between you and your wife. You are. Teresa, I'll take you home and check in your family, then over to the mansion to see Jane. Wrong. You're not going anywhere with her. I don't want to cause any trouble. Oh, please, you live to cause trouble. All right, all right, enough of this. You can all stay here in this dump and die. I am going home to my safe home. Good night. Excuse me. My club is not a dump. At least it wasn't before the quake. Can you please, please just take me home now? I have to come with you. Listen, I, I don't think any of us should go anywhere until we know how much damage has been done to this town. Well, if the rest of Harmony looks the way it does out there, then I shudder to think what we're going to find when we leave. Damn, I don't, I don't have cell phone service either. Well, what if the tower collapsed in the quake? Liz, Liz, do you have a radio or something? Yeah, I think the, the wait staff usually keeps one behind the bar. All right, thanks. No, no, no. I mean, don't even what? bother, because I want to go check on Jane regardless. Honey, if the roads are buckled and there's debris all over the place, we'll we're not going. I want to make sure my daughter's okay. Jane is my daughter, Gwen. Not according to the courts, Teresa. We have temporary custody, and you know that. And don't be surprised when the judge makes it permanent. No, that's not going to happen. Alistair will not let that happen. You know what? Most whores only sell their body. Looks like you've sold your body and your Okay, that. okay. Stop. Will okay. you please take me home now? Jane is our child. I'm coming with you. Tell her that she's not coming with us. Ethan, damn it, you either tell her or just admit that you'd rather be with her. Can you believe the damage the quake did, Mr. Crane? That was marvelous, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Green construction is going to make a fortune, clearing away all this debris and rebuilding this town, all at inflated prices, by the way. Who said I wasn't a lover of nature? <laughs> what about Miss Lopez Fitzgerald? She decided to stay. So I'm going to leave her to her own fate, along with the others, and as far as I'm concerned, they can all die. Please take me home now. Yes, Mr. Crane.